Fact nine, the most deadly aspect of a tsunami isn't just the water itself. It's the destruction carried inside the wave. By the time a tsunami reaches land, it is not a clean wall of water, but a violent slurry packed with mud, shattered buildings, cars, trees, and even entire houses. This mixture turns the wave into a battering ram capable of crushing anything in its path. For example, during the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, people reported being slammed by debris flying at high speeds, causing blunt force and injuries that were often more deadly than drowning. Even just six inches of fast moving water can knock a person off their feet, while two feet of water can carry away a vehicle. As the wave surges inland, it grinds and pulverizes everything it touches. Then as the water recedes, it drags wreckage and, and victims back out to sea. This brutal debris field is one reason survival during a tsunami is so difficult, making escape not just about outrunning water, but dodging deadly projectiles.